In the Lord of the Rings, we see Sauron's defeat in the Second Age, during the siege of Barad-dûr by the Last Alliance. And then we skip all the way to the end of the Third Age, where we see Sauron's final battles against the Free People and the destruction of the One Ring. But what happens to Sauron between these two periods? There is 3000 years between them. How does he rebuild his strength after Isildur took the One Ring? Well, after he was defeated and his ring was taken, he had to heal and gain strength again. He went to the east and hid there for nearly 1000 years. When some of his strength was returned, he thought of continuing his plan to conquer Middle-earth. But this time he didn't have his ring, so he tried to take control in a different way. He acted more from behind the curtain. He starts to choose a new location, for the men of Gondor have put outposts on the borders of Mordor to prevent the servants of Sauron from entering the realm. Because of that, he can't enter Mordor without being spotted. So he goes to live in Greenwood on Amon Lang, an earlier settlement of Orifer and the Sylvan Elves. Since Sauron moved there, the hill became known as Dol Guldur, Hill of Sorcery, and Sauron became known under an alias, the Necromancer. Because Sauron had moved in, the forest became dull and dark and spiders who were offspring of Shelob came to live in the forest. Due to the change of nature, the forest became known as Mirkwood forest of great fear. The Istari noticed that an evil was growing in the fortress of Dol Guldur. They thought it was one of the nine. So Sauron wanted to conquer Middle Earth, but his strength was not what it used to be. But the forces of Gondor and Arnor were growing, and both kingdoms became very strong. Sauron needed to do something about this, so he sent the leader of the nine to establish the realm of Angmar, just at the northeastern borders of Arnor. He became known as the Witch King of Angmar. Once his forces were great in number, he started with the war against Arnor. This war started in 1409 and lasted for more than 500 years. Eventually the Witch King came out victorious. Arnor was the defeated and the remaining Dunedain were forced to go into hiding. But that was not the only fight he had planned. There came a great plague to Gondor, Rovanion and Eriador in 1635. Due to the great loss in numbers of men and women in Gondor, the guards had to leave their outposts at the borders of Mordor and the realm became unguarded. The Nazgul, orcs and other foul creatures went back to Mordor and in the year 2000 they were numerous enough that Sauron ordered them to attack Minas Ithil, which was a Gondorian city at the borders of Mordor. Eventually the city fell two years later and it became known from that point on as Minas Morgul, the Tower of Sorcery. They also captured the Palantir that lay there, the Ethel Stone. That stone will be later used to corrupt the minds of both Denethor and Saruman. In the next 60 years the power of Dol Guldur grows and the wise started to fear that it was Sauron who is behind all of this. So Gandalf takes the initiative to go and investigate Dol Guldur in 20. 63. But Sauron retreats and hides in the east for he was not yet strong enough to reveal himself. The Nine also stay hidden within Minas Morgul. During the next 400 years there started a watchful peace. And while we're waiting for Sauron to return to Dol Guldur, hit that subscribe button and bell icon if you don't want to miss out on any Middle Earth content. In 2460 Sauron returns to Dol Guldur with the great strength and eventually orders the Nine to launch an attack on Gondor. They attack Osgiliath in 2475 and the bridge got destroyed and Osgiliath lay in ruin. Sauron wanted to repossess the Rings of Power. He already had to the Nine under his command. He started to retake the Dwarven Rings. Three were devoured by dragons and three he already had captured. But when Thrain II wanted to go back to Erebor after Smaug had taken it, he got captured by a group of orcs in 2845 and brought to Dol Guldur. There Sauron took the last of the Dwarven Rings. Rain was tortured and kept prisoner there. Gandalf finds Train five years later when he investigates Dol Guldur again. Although Train didn't remember who he was, he gave Gandalf the map and key of Erebor. Gandalf also discovers that it is indeed Sauron that lives in Dol Guldur and that he is searching for the One Ring. But when Gandalf asked the White Council to plan an attack in 2851, Sauron Saruman overrules him and calls off the attack, but Saruman wants to find the ring for himself. He thought that the ring would come out if Sauron searched for it and it would lie hidden if Sauron would be driven out again. Sauron knew that his time of hiding was coming to an end. 
He wanted to destroy the Gondorians as much as possible. So in 2885, he ordered the Haradrim to invade Italian, but they were soon defeated by the forces of both Gondor and Rohan. Sauron eventually finds out that Isildur died at the Gladden Fields near the Anduin River, and that the ring got lost there. So in 2939, he starts to search the river. Saruman finds out that Sauron knew this. To prevent Sauron from finding the ring, he declares battle against Dol Guldur, for Saruman wanted to find the ring for himself. But Sauron had foreseen this attack and he had prepared his return to Mordor. So he left Dol Guldur in 2942. It was also that same year that the ring left Gollum, the moment that Sauron got strong enough to go back to Mordor, where he restarted the construction of the Tower of Barad-dûr. In 2951, he eventually declared his return openly. He even sends the Tree of the Nine to reoccupy the fortress of Dol Guldur. After the death of Denethor's wife in Duelas, Denethor feared that Sauron would attack Gondor during his rule, so out of fear he dared to use in the Palantir that lay in the White Tower. He knew that Sauron must have discovered the Ethel Stone after conquering Minas Ethel, so Denethor looked into the Palantir to spy on Sauron. But Sauron saw that Denethor was watching, and Sauron tried to bend Denethor's will, but due to Denethor's strength, Sauron failed. In the year 3000, Saruman uses the Palantir of Ortank and comes in contact with Sauron. And this time, Sauron succeeds. He ensnares Saruman. Sauron keeps on looking for the One Ring, for he desires it above all else. And when Gollum reaches the borders of Mordor in 3009, he got captured, and Sauron tortures and interrogates him. For he was indeed the one who knew where the One Ring was. Gollum eventually, after eight years of torture, revealed to Sauron that it was the hobbit named Baggins of the Shire, who now possesses the One Ring. Sauron wanted to send his Nazgul to find and capture the Hobbit and take the ring from him, but the west of the Anduin River was still protected by Gondor. So on June 20th, 3018, he launched an attack on Osgiliath, not only to test Gondor's strength, but also to let the Nazgul pass the Anduin unnoticed. On March 5th, 3019, Sauron thought that he saw the ring bearer, but it was Pippin touching the Palantir of Ortang. Sauron thought that he was the hobbit who had the ring in his possession, and that Saruman let him look into the Palantir so he would be tortured. Because of this, Sauron was deceived that the ring was within his grasp. But he found out the next day when Aragorn, heir of Isildur, looked into the same Palantir, so he thought that Aragorn had overthrown Saruman, and that he had the hobbit and the one ring in his possession. Session. Because of this, he sent out the Witch King earlier into battle than was originally planned. Eventually his forces were together with the Witch King defeated. But Sauron still believed that the One Ring was within Minas Tirith, even though Shagrat brought him news of a hobbit and an elven warrior <coughs> Sam, <coughs> within Kiritungal. When Aragorn together with the free people of Middle-earth stood at Sauron's doorstep, he let all his troops come forth, but only when Frodo put the ring on his finger within Mount Doom, Sauron knew that he was tricked and immediately sends the Nazgul to Mount Doom. But they got there too late. Gollum tripped and fell with the ring in his hand into the fires of Orodruin. Baradur and the Black Gate got destroyed. Sauron's spirit rose and was then blown away by a strong wind coming from the west. We have talked in this video about the Palantir that Sauron uses to bend the will of Saruman and Denethor. If you are curious about what they are, who used them and who created them, you will find all of that out in the next video.